Hi and welcome to Content Studio. Today we'll be talking about our latest feature, the Competitor Analytics. So for that, from the Content Studio dashboard, you're going to head over to the Analyze section here, and then in the left column, head over to Instagram under Competitor Analytics. So this is the Competitor Analytics dashboard, and you can create a new competitors list here by selecting Create New, giving your list a title, Now you're going to enter your competitor slug or URL from Instagram. So let's say I want to search up 7up, so we're going to look that up. I'm going to add that here. Add Fanta. And you can also delete competitors right here. And you can add up to five competitors in a list. So I'm going to select continue. And as you can see, it created a list for me. So these are the lists that I've already created. You can delete or edit competitor lists that you've already created from the dashboard. Let's look into the competitor analytics. So I'm going to go into beverages. From the top, you can select a date range that you want to set within which you want to see all of your analytics. So right now we have this one month date range set. I can manage my competitors from here, so I can delete or add new competitors right here, like we saw in the dashboard. Now let's look into the analytics. So at first glance, you'll be able to see all of the different competitors that you added to your competitors list and their followers and engagement rates. Right under that, you'll be able to see the competitors performance comparison. If you have any confusion about what these graphs show, you can hover over the question mark right here and it will give you a little description about what each of these graphs show. So this one here shows us the followers and engagement rate. So as you can see right here, Red Bull has the highest followers and falls a little behind Mountain Dew, which has a higher engagement rate. You can maximize any of these graphs to see a clearer, larger image. Let's scroll down. So under that, we have the competitor's comparative table. So this shows you a overall view of the followers, the followers change over time, the posts per week that they're publishing, and the change in these posts over time, their engagement rates by the followers that they have, and then the change over time. So if you select a specific um, a competitor, it will show you a graph, a more detailed graph of the change, as you can see right here. So their followers are growing over time, as you can see. It's important to note here that the information that Content Studio fetches will start from the day that you add the competitor to your list. So for example, we've had these three accounts here for a while now, which is why you can see their graphs. However, Red Bull and Mountain Dew were just added, so that's why you cannot see their graphs yet. Scrolling down, you'll be able to see the competitors by total followers versus their net change in followers. So this graph will basically show you how the competitors are performing over time with relevance to their followers. So right here, um, Red Bull does have the highest number of followers. However, there's no follower change in the time um, range that we set right here. However, as you can see, Pepsi and Coca-Cola do have a significant change as compared to Red Bull, which had none. Now let's talk about the posting activity by post type. And this means that you'll see the post types such as carousel, reels, videos, and images. So right here, this is an average overview of which post type is doing better amongst them. So as you can see, reels is doing the best um, with reference to their engagement and as well as the post per week. Um, then right after that, we have carousels and then images based on their performance and posts per week. So when we scroll down right here, so this graph right here is a more narrowed down or a detailed version of the graph that we saw above, which was showing us averages. Right here, you can narrow down based on the reels, carousels, or image posts. So let's select carousel post. Now this will show us the details of how the carousel posts are performing um, by each competitor. So right here, as you can see, Red Bull is doing the best um, in terms of engagement and in terms of posting per week, followed by Mountain View, Fanta, and then we have 
Pepsi and Coke right here. Now this graph right here is another version of this. As you can see, this is a bar graph. This is a more numerical graph. So right here you can see the number of posts, the numbers and the engagement rates right here in a tabular form. So you can also select this button right here and it will show you a ascending or descending order. Now scrolling down, now here we have the most engaged hashtags. So as you can see, the list of hashtags that all of these competitors used are stated here um, by their competitor types that are using them, the number of posts that they've um, sent out during this time limit, the engagement per post that has this hashtag, and the engagement per followers. So you can actually click this button right here and it will drop down a menu. And if more than one competitor is using this hashtag, you'll get a breakdown of which competitor is using this hashtag in how many posts. So right here is an example of what I was talking about. So when you open the drop down right here, as you can see, there are 630 posts that use this hashtag. And here is a breakdown of each of the competitors that are using these hashtags. And this gives you a more detailed breakdown. This was the overview. Now that we've discussed hashtags, let's move on to the bioanalysis. So right here under bioanalysis, you can see all of the competitors and their descriptions and the number of characters they're using from highest to lowest. So this gives you an idea of how many characters each competitor is using. So you can shape your posts descriptions accordingly. Scrolling down, here are the top performing posts and the least performing posts. So right here you can see the top five performing posts by Pepsi. You can hover over each individual one and it will give you a detailed breakdown of the engagement, engagement rate, the number of likes this post has, the comments and their post types. You can also see the post types written right here under each. So right here on the right, you can see their least performing posts in the time duration set, of course. And as you can see, you can also click these. So when you open the preview, you'll be able to see the post itself, whether it's a real image, carousel, etc. And here is the detailed breakdown. You can also redirect yourself to the Instagram post itself by clicking on this button right here. And it will take you to the post right here. That way you can see all of the top performing and least performing posts from all of your competitors and shape your campaigns and posts, descriptions, everything accordingly. So this was the competitor analytics feature. We hope this helps. See you in the next video.